How dare you kill the chin strap commander? I will reap vengeance upon you! Oh, well, hey guys, it's H4, and I want to talk to you guys about gaming highs and gaming lows and something that I was trying to do in this gameplay, which is to get out of the funk. I was having a couple bad days of gaming where, uh, look at me flank this guy, he had no idea where I was going. But, uh, you know, a couple bad days of gaming where a lot of bullshit. Uh, was happening to me. I was getting, you know, quick scoped and lagged and bullet con like all this bullshit uh, kept happening. And, and I was having a ba bad couple nights. We kept ran running into lots of cheap shit. And uh, this game was purely intended. This whole loadout was intended to break me out of that funk and to get to the pure enjoyment of the game. And that's, I think, that's something that we all search for when we're gaming: is those gaming highs, those high points, those. Those, oh my god, that was so awesome, or I completed this, I defeated that, I, I dominated this, you know, you know, I was just in the fucking zone, and uh, this, this class is designed for that, so if you guys are in a funk, I want you to try this class. It is using Blast Shield and Tactical Mask with a perk 3 Greed and Extreme Conditioning, and you're going to run Fast Hands as your second tier perk. <laughs> fucking knifer. Uh, I'm gonna get my nice sweet uh, dish of revenge served up here. Uh, I'm gonna come around the corner, that knife is gonna push forward, and I'm gonna serve him up. Boom, bitch! That's what you get. That's what you get for knifing me. Don't try to knife me. You're just gonna get exploded. But this class, so you got the extreme conditioning and tack mask with flak jacket and fast hands. You run a gun you're very comfortable with, in my case, it's MP7 with a silencer and laser sight. I, if you're an assault rifle guy, try maybe like the Type 25, something fast, something uh, quick and agile, uh, and use the suppressor so you can push right into their spawn and uh, show no mercy, and use a laser sight to make up for dexterity, because you won't have dexterity. So if you get up close with someone in there, they're gonna have that quick draw on you, just, uh, just shoot from the hip and, and put them down before they get a chance to shoot at you. But this class is 100% designed to take away all the shock charges, all the C4, all the Bettys, all the bullshit, and uh, just allow me to push and collect tags and, and crush my opponents. And that's what I did in this game, and, and it felt really good. It felt uh, liberating. It, it took me took me back into uh, feeling good about the game again and, and feeling that gaming high again. And, uh, you know, 40 bomb is not a, a crazy score for maybe some of you guys out there. You know, maybe you guys push for 100 pluses or anything like that. But I am not OBJ every day. Uh, I do not drop uh, 60 or more kills on every game on average. It, this is a, a good game for me. And uh, look at this guy still sitting camping on the tags. Uh, the music you're hearing in the background, the, the two songs that I'm playing, they're from a channel called uh, Techno Axe. Uh, I'll leave it in the description uh, underneath the songs. He's a royalty-free YouTube channel that does music, and uh, it's got some very quality stuff on his channel. Definitely go check that out. But um, yeah, so I, I got a nice gaming high, and I think it's funny because during this game, at no point while I was playing with uh, Charlie Blogger here, uh, Deadly Streaks on Twitter if you want to find him. Uh, while I was playing with him, and he's he's covering me. He just pulled out his dragon fire, and he's covering my ass right now. But. I wasn't thinking, I was thinking about just the tag. I was just thinking about uh, getting as many tags as possible. There was a clan challenge up and I thought, you know, why not? I'll enlist in it and uh, we'll we'll see what we can do. I haven't played with my clan very much since uh, Modern Warfare 3 because the clan challenges. Elite was broken for a good couple months when uh, uh, Black Ops 2 came out. And so I enlisted in this clan challenge. I'm like, I'm gonna get some fucking tags. I'm gonna do this. And so by the end of this game, I had, you know, about half the team's confirms and uh, as, as the MVP of the team and 
I wasn't, I literally wasn't thinking about my score. I wasn't thinking about how well I was doing. I didn't realize how many kills I had until the end of the game. I was just going for broke. And I think those Zen moments where you dial in and you stop thinking about KDs and stats and, and challenges and, uh, you know, bloodthirsty medals and, and all that bullshit that you go with when you're trying to uh, get your camos and headshots and all that bullshit. When you stop focusing on all of that crap, and you just play the game for the game, that's when you're gonna find your gaming high again. The technique I just did there, I shoot the ceiling, it's called a ring in the dinner bell. If I have a nice traps or a sentry or something, or a guardian set up, I just sometimes ring the dinner bell and hope that people come for dinner. And then I shoot them. <laughs> so it's a, uh, try that sometime. You can throw down a C4 or a Claymore or something like that, ring the dinner bell and, and they'll come running. But uh, I'm using an interesting kill streak loadout here, I'm keeping it low. Uh, with the UAV and Hunter Killer as my primary, and the sentry gun, when I get it, I put it aggressively forward and use it to, to distract people and uh, push forward around them and, and kill them from behind and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, it, this class just uh, it took away a lot of the BS for me, and so I hope you guys try it and I hope you guys enjoy it. But if you guys run into a funk like I did, having a couple bad days playing, where running into all kinds of garbage, or you're just you can't seem to get those streaks that you want, or you can't seem to uh, get what you want done. I advise you just to take a step back, use the streaks you know you can get, use the UAV, use the Hunter Killer, use the RC car, you know, if, if you want to run Hunter Killer, RC car, UAV, and, and just shove them all up everyone's asses for a couple games with your best gun or your favorite gun, and uh, let loose for a couple games, and, and don't think about anything, and just and just go, just go, go ham, go hard. And, uh, you know, use whatever technique suits you best. In this case, I wanted to go balls to wall rushing, which is uh, usually I'm a positional player, but, uh, you know, a lot of times when I do break out of it and I start rushing with a gun that I'm comfortable with, it, uh, it tends to go well for me. And it certainly allows me to kind of, you know, expand what I, what I would normally be capable of uh, playing more positional. So yeah, I hope you guys, I hope you guys do that. I hope you guys aren't suffering from any gaming funks like I was. And uh, Hunter Killer catches another fool around the corner here. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the gameplay. I'm gonna play the music out and uh, let me know if you guys use that class, how it goes, and uh, tell me if you got any good gameplays. If you have a class yourself that you want to share with me, that is your class to free yourself from all kinds of bullshit and, and to uh, do well. I was asking on Twitter before for some uh, you know, OP classes. Let me know what uh, your favorite classes are and uh, maybe I'll try them out in upcoming videos. All right guys, enjoy the rest of the gameplay and I'll catch you on the end bumper. If you're new around here, check out my last episode of Hipfire Bitch, where I talk about Booster, Justice, and uh, the Fat Blocker in the UK, and check out Death of a Quickscoper. Cheers.